Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a WordPress website using Bluehost in under five minutes. And I'll take an extra couple minutes to show you how to set up a page, a post, and change the basic design elements of your new site. I want to take you step by step through the process showing you exactly what it takes for a beginner to start a WordPress blog using Bluehost. If you prefer written instructions, check out the link to my website below where I give a complete tutorial on how to set up your WordPress blog on Bluehost. Now the first thing you'll need to do is sign up for Bluehost. In the description below, you'll find a link to Bluehost where you'll get discounted pricing as well as a free domain name. Click on the link and it will take you directly to Bluehost where you can click Get Started, which I'll do right now. On this page, you'll find three hosting plans to choose from. The discounted pricing applies to each of these options, but you'll notice a greater discount in the price when you pay for more months up front. I'm going to choose the basic plan because it allows me at least one website, and I know with Bluehost I can always upgrade to any of the other packages at any time. Okay, so once you've selected the plan, we can choose our domain. The domain is the address of your website, and Bluehost will actually give you a free domain when you sign up with our link. If you already have a domain name from a provider like GoDaddy, you can type in the domain in the box on the right and connect it with Bluehost. I'm going to use a domain through Bluehost, so I'll type it right here and then click Next. On the next page, you'll find areas to type in your personal information, such as your name, address, phone number, and payment information. As you scroll down, you'll find the section called Package Information. Here you can click the drop-down box and choose the account plan that you'd like to start with. You'll also notice the Domain Privacy Protection option, which I highly recommend because that will keep your name, address, and email information private instead of being available for the public to view when your website goes live. The other options below I generally keep unchecked because you can always add something called plugins to WordPress later for free. Once all of your information is entered, be sure to click the box at the bottom of the screen and click Submit. Once you click Submit, you'll be directed to a welcome page where you can create a password to log into your Bluehost account. You should also check your email because the login information may be sent to you that way. With your new password, log into your Bluehost account. You should be able to see the option to create a new site on the right. So click this button and it will lead you to a new page. Go ahead and type the name or title of your website as well as the tagline. Hit Next. This will lead you to a separate page where you can select the domain name you'd like to install WordPress. Click the tab and you should see the domain that you set up initially for free with Bluehost. Then click Next. WordPress may take a few minutes to install, but once it's complete, you'll be able to access WordPress from your Bluehost account. You'll also receive an email with the WordPress login information so that you can access the back end of your website by typing in your domain name followed by a backslash wp-admin. And that's it. Your website is up in less than five minutes, and you're ready to start designing your site, writing articles, and creating pages for your readers. But while we're in here, I want to show you a few things that will make your life easier as you navigate the back end of your new WordPress website. Let's take a few minutes to look at how to create a post, a page, and a few basic features of WordPress that allow you to customize your new website. Let's get started here. Now the first thing I want you to do is to direct your mouse up to the top left area of your screen and hover over the name of your website. You'll see a button that says Visit Site, which when you click on it will open up the way your website looks to the world. To go back to your dashboard, simply hover over the name of your website and click on Dashboard to see the screen again. Along the left side of your website, you'll find a dark menu that gives you access to all areas of your website. You'll use these tabs to create posts, pages, and change the appearance of your website, which is what I want to look at with you now. The design of your WordPress website is based on themes. Initially, your website has a default theme, which gives it a look that you're seeing right now. To change the theme of your website, click on Appearance on the left-hand column, then click on Themes, where you'll find a few of the free themes available through WordPress. This is also where you would upload a custom or premium theme that you might purchase through another website. Of course, that will take a little bit more customization. One of the unique features of WordPress is the ability to customize a page very quickly using the customization panel. By clicking on customization at the top of your screen or within the appearance tab, you'll notice quite a few options to make changes on your website. Here you'll find everything from the title of your website, tagline, header image, logo, and background color. Now if you do make some changes to the design of your website, be sure to click the save changes or publish button so that the updates are applied to your actual website before you exit out. Now let's talk about adding content to your website. The two basic ways to do this are through posts and pages. 
A post allows you to present your content or article in a blog format. A page is more of a standalone area of content that is usually found on the menu like the About page or Contact Us page. To create a new blog post, click on the Add New button located under the Post tab of your dashboard menu. A new entry pops up and you'll be able to add the title of your new post along with the content including images and any other links you'd like to make within your own website or links to other websites. When you're ready to publish the post, select the Publish button over here or click Edit right here to schedule the post to publish at a later time. The one thing that you'll notice under the title of your blog is something called a permalink. This is the address of the post that will be visible once you publish your content. In this example, it gives a date, but if you'd like to change that, you can do so by clicking on Settings, then click on Permalinks. You'll see that it's currently set on day and name, but if you click on post name, it will clean up the URL on every post you create, showing just the post name, not the date. Just be sure to save your changes when you're done. Now let's talk about adding pages to your website. Go back to the dashboard of the website and click on the Pages tab located in the dark menu on the left side of your dashboard. Pages are created pretty much the same way you would create a blog post. Enter the title of your page and the text you want to display and hit publish for the page to go live. Okay, so there you have it. We've created a Bluehost account, installed WordPress, and set up a new page and post to your website in less than a few minutes. If you need any more help on creating your WordPress website with Bluehost, be sure to check out my blog for a full tutorial and leave a comment and like this video if you found it to be helpful. Thanks for watching and be sure to use the discounted link in the description area below this video to get your Bluehost plan at a discounted rate.